In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create and set projects in Houdini. Now, when you start creating uh, scenes and working in Houdini, and you want to save your work, uh, you can just go File, Save As, and pretty much put your work anywhere you want to go. Um, it's fairly open and fluid when you first open Houdini. If you want to organize yourselves a little bit more, uh, the other option is to create a project. So you can go File, uh, New Project, uh, you see this uh, window here where you can say, um, I'm going to create a test project in this folder called Houdini Projects. Here's some subdirectories, things that will allow me to store geometry, digital assets, textures, renderings, and so on, uh, and say accept to create that new directory. Now when you've got your object and you want to go file uh, save as, uh, you can just go into here and you'll see that we're inside test project and we can save that right here. So we can go box.hip. So that's um, where we'll save our file and those other subdirectories can be used if we were rendering and, and so on and so forth. Now, if we were going to set a, an existing project, let's, let's do that. We're going to go file, uh, set project, and we're going to, there's test project, so we're going to go up one level and we're going to pick the squab project. We're going to accept and now we're going to go File, Open, and we're going to go into the Squab project and pick the Squab scene. Now, when you do this, uh, the way to find this project is dollar job uh, is the quick way to do it. So if you were, let's say, somewhere else and you wanted to quickly find your project, you just go dollar job get you to your project. Select that and go Accept. So here we have a scene uh, with an object in it. Uh, and we'd like to assign a texture to that. So we're going to go to the material palette. Uh, we're going to take a mantra surface material, drag it over here, um, go to there. We're going to use a texture map and we're going to get one. Now, uh, we've got this project here, so let's make sure we do dollar job. There was a dollar job reference up there. Go texture and the diffuse map is right here. And what you'll see is it uses that dollar job reference in there. Um, to set up your texture. And the reason you want to do this is this keeps all of your on-disk references uh, local to the project you're working on uh, and you're ready to go. Now if we take Mantra Service and drag that over, assign material, there we go. Now as you build up your scene, all of your um, elements should be existing within these project directories and they all should be referenced using this dollar job reference here. Now, if you want to check to see if that's the case, uh, what you can do is under Render, uh, we've got a, an option called Preflight, and this will actually go through, and you can say reference it based on dollar job, and you get this window here. And what we see is that in this case here, the squab diffuse texture is green because it was referenced properly, uh, but the geometry, the squab geometry, was actually done using a dollar home, so it's actually uh, local to the computer and if I was to pick this whole project and share it with someone else this wouldn't work properly so we want to fix that so we're going to click on this and we're going to fix the expression by going in and just going up to that point there dollar job and go accept now you will see that parts green and we're ready to go so in here uh, you'll actually see there's the geometry uh, there's the material so if we go to the um, back to the object level, dive in to the geometry, you'll see that now it's been updated to say dollar job. So everything that we do is related to this dollar job value, um, which is defined when you set the project. So I hope this has given you a quick idea of how to create a project, how to set a project, uh, and then use the dollar job reference uh, to make sure any geometry or textures that you're feeding into the scene um, stay connected even when you share with other people.